all for the love of my home audio. I'm trying to shovel my driveway just so I can back it up. Get my box out. All right, driveway's all shoveled off. Backed into the one good flat spot that I've got. Time to bring it in. I knew there was a reason I left this cart over here. So I got KK on the way. He's just down the street and called my neighbor again. Shit. People ask me, what do your neighbors think? Shit. My neighbor's cool. He comes over and helps me. He's going to help me bring this in the house. So it's all good. It's all good. This is one thing I got to get done right now. The box is finished. I got to get it into the house. We're about ready to get another snowstorm and we just got out of one. I just barely made it off the property yesterday. Oh yeah. Your neighbor calls the cops. My neighbor brings a beer over and helps me. Yeah. Yeah, glad you could join me. <laughs> yes, sir, the twin brother. Twin brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at this bad boy. Yep, number two. Careful, you got it? Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Feed her on. That's gonna finish up the logos. That's gonna be another time. I just wanted to get it in the house. go again.
So these are dual ones. Therefore, I'm putting them in series. There's a little jumper in between to make two ohms. Before I hook the last wires up, let's go ahead and verify tuning on these boxes. You can see that's that first dip after the first peak. Starts in the 19s, doesn't start changing again until after 21 hertz. So, safe to say this thing's tuned right around 20, 21. Let's go check out the next box. Looking at the same thing over on this side. Perfect. 20, 21 hertz, pretty nice for home theater. If you've been following this build, you know there's no wires showing anywhere. 16 channels, everything is ran through the wall, down through the floor and up to where they need to go. Do some blue LEDs in the back just to make it glow off the wall a little bit.
rattling over there. So simply put, the verdict is in. I love the way this sounds. I'm used to the way it looks. It doesn't look so outrageous anymore like it did on the first day. I can't play these songs and I can't play these movies or TV shows for very long because of copyright reasons. I'll get hit right away if I let them go too long. So you guys aren't gonna be able to tell what I'm experiencing. And you really aren't gonna be able to tell what I'm experiencing anyways if you're watching on your phone or even on your TV. Is this system perfect? No. Is it great? Yes. Could it be better? Yes, it's in my main living room. I have a room right here that I could have turned into a really nice custom movie theater and it would have been perfect. But as you can see, I put a pool table and some arcade games in here instead. So I prefer to watch TV and movies in my living room anyhow. Again, if you haven't been paying too much attention to what I've been doing, those speakers have about a thousand watts on each one. They can handle probably 5,000 or more watts. So they're underpowered. For music, it gets down. It's pretty nice, but they're barely even moving. For movies, I have it back down from there and it's still perfect. It's not overwhelming bass. It's just enough bass to sound good. The pressure in the room changes, like when a door gets shut or a car crash, you can feel the pressure in the room change from those things. They definitely are destroying the 12 inch powered speakers that I had before, the matching ones. That being said, it ain't over yet. I got room treatment that I'm working on. I have hardwood floors, I got tall ceilings, but there's carpets all over the place and a big couch. So right in the listening area, it sounds great. There's no echo or anything like that. Plus I got direct live digital room correction. That helps a lot too. But as far as making things sound as good as they can, I went to secondskinaudio.com and I ordered myself several types of acoustic panels. I brought them to my shop and I'm cutting them with my laser and I'm making shapes and coming up with some ideas. It's gotta be something that looks good in my living room. I'm not trying to turn it into a studio with acoustic foam all over every corner and every every spot you can find but i bought a bunch and i'm lasering it and i'm cutting it and we're gonna put portraits on a couple of them and, and we're gonna hang them in strategic areas i'll do the best i can with what i got but it does not i can leave it alone just the way it is and be super happy so with that i'm out of here i'm happy with the system i'll show you guys more later as time goes on but this build is officially over and i am out thanks for watching the series let's move on to something else yeah